Welcome back to the vlog everyone. Happy Sunday. It's literally so, so beautiful here in LA right now. We're in Culver City and we just went to Cava. It was actually our first time there. I have seen so much hype about it online and through friends and stuff posting on Instagram. And um, we were finally like in the area and I was like, let's just give it a try. And I heard that their braised lamb is halal. So I had that and it was so good. Like I think we both decided that that's like officially when we want to like go out and eat. This is gonna be our place because it's so healthy. They have like the calories for every single topping, every single, just everything, which just makes it so easy because y'all know we've been on our little health kick lately. And yeah, the food was 11 out of 10. Like it was just so flavorful and so yummy. It's surprising that it's like a fast food joint. Like way better than Chipotle in my opinion. Anyways, this morning we actually went for breakfast with my friend Orit. She's just in town from Atlanta visiting. Um, I forgot to bring my camera though, but right now we're just kind of like enjoying Culver City a little bit. And I might get some ice cream. <laughs> just a little bit. Because there's salt and straw, the chocolate ice cream. Do you want it? I'm full. I'm not even thinking about that right now. You're not thinking about that right now, but as soon as we get in there, he will be thinking about it. Probably. <laughs> but I really need to use the bathroom right now, so we're trying to find a restroom that I can go into. And I don't really think we're doing anything else today. I was supposed to get like a DEXA scan, um, but it's either two things. Either there was like crazy traffic on the freeway, or I heard Joe Biden was in town, and that was like messing up with traffic on the west side of LA. So it could have been that, but because of that, like we were supposed to be there like right on time, or even like 15 minutes before, but I ended up missing my appointment. So I had to call and reschedule, but it's like a cool scan that like scans your entire body. I'll explain a little bit more, but like passing by a bar right now. As I was saying, sorry this lighting sucks. We're like backlit right now. But yes, the scan, I rescheduled for Tuesday. So I'll explain a little bit more once Tuesday comes around. But this week is gonna be super exciting. So I thought that I would vlog it. We are shooting Happy Looks Good On You, volume three tomorrow. And Bay is gonna be part of the shoot. He's gonna be the model. <laughs> so that'll be really fun. Risky's gonna be there as well. And we're shooting with Morgan, which I'm so excited. Um, I haven't seen her or shot with her in like over a year at this point. So I'm very, very excited. Oh wait, no, actually we saw her briefly at the John Legend event, but super excited. It'll be a fun little shoot and some more exciting stuff for the rest of the week. So I have to go find a bathroom. I'll talk to y'all in a bit. Punch buggy, no punch back safety. <laughs> wait, wait. I like your outfit. He's wearing one of his own designs today. And he's been getting so many compliments on it, and I'm like, where is mine? We need to be matching right now. <laughs> Have you changed your mind yet? <laughs> huh? Have you changed your mind? Nope. We'll see. <laughs> I'll cut to the next clip. <laughs> we'll see what Didn't know that she had a stick foundation version of the faux filter, and I actually love this concealer. Where is it? They're genuinely so good. I, think I might try the foundation stick. Not that I really need any other makeup, but. I just want to see if it's good. Let's see. Okay, this is the shade 
mocha. I feel like it could match. It might be a little dark. I feel like that matches, but it might be a tiny bit too neutral. On my hand, it like blends in really nice, but I feel like it's a little too olive maybe. Okay, and this one is chocolate mousse. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no, you're good. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait, no, that's way too light. Ooh, I don't know though. I feel like if I blend it in, I think I might actually go for chocolate mousse. I feel like it just matches my undertone a little bit better. Okay, there's literally one chocolate mousse left. I feel like it looks good enough. I'm just gonna take this. Okay, I also kind of want to try this. They sent me a few of these, but they only sent me like the lighter shades. So I think I'm going to try Kanafa and hope that works. It's like a yellowy shade. I feel like that might look nice under my eyes. I think that's kind of it. They have lip liners too, like a rich brown one. Let's watch this real quick. Nice color. It's a little bit more like red than I would like, but you know, I don't need lip liners right now. I'm just gonna leave that. But I do really, really like this mascara. One Coat Wow, so I'm gonna take that. So three Huda Beauty products I think is good for now. A good tip and secure. Let's check on the husband. You enjoying the husband corner? <laughs> Sorry, it took a little longer. My dad called, so I was called. I was talking to him. <laughs> He's gonna see that reaction. <laughs> I got some Huda Beauty. She supports Palestine. I just know the name, but Huda Beauty. She's like a she's a makeup artist. No, she's Arab or Iraqi. I don't know. That's considered Arab. Anyways, let's go. Why are you why are you proving it to me? Thank you. I encourage it, baby. <laughs> My little ice cream monster. <laughs> I told y'all. <laughs> How's your ice cream? <laughs> really? That's how you gonna play it? You know what I'm talking about, huh? What's that? <laughs> you funny. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> oh yeah, Costco. Man. <laughs> Guys, I've been trying to get him to come to Costco <laughs> for like three weeks at this point, and he just said no every single time. But you know what? We was in the area. So, couldn't say no this time. We don't really need that many things. <laughs> so silly. We don't really need that many things though. We just need a couple things. So, let's go to Costco. here immediately. Okay, let's go. Hello everyone. I am all glam right now because we are headed to the studio to shoot all of the merch. So Risky had this like Vela hijab that literally matched so perfectly to both outfits. So just to add a little bit more texture, I'm gonna wear that. And then I am going to be rocking the tan sweater today. And we have 
the tote bag here, which you guys can't see yet, and then some of the items over there too. So we're just gonna wrap everything up. Hi, Risky. <laughs> we're gonna wrap everything up and take them to the studio. We also have, I don't know where they went, but we have some keychains too. Oh, okay, perfect. We have some little sneaky keychains. If you guys have seen, I've been wearing this for like over a year at this point, so. We're finally here. It's gonna be a fun shoot and Morgan's gonna be here, so we gotta get going. It's just down the street, thankfully, but I just wanna get there a little bit early, so we're like right on time. Um, but yeah, let's go shoot Happy Looks Good On You, volume three. <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> we are at the shoot now. The room is beautiful. Let me show you guys. It's like so aesthetic. It matches the vibe of the merch so well. We got Morgan on camera, as always. Risky and then Ivan. Ivan's here. Risky's twin. Just kidding. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> you know when like you find out after a while that someone has a twin? Don't you feel like 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 you were lied to or something yes. i'm like what you have a whole other person yes. that looks like you in this world <laughs> yeah like on social media someone will just randomly be like oh yeah and my twin i'm like you have a twin isn't that like the most trippy thing it's crazy Today is Tuesday morning. Um, yesterday we had the photo shoot and I did take some clips here and there, but honestly we were so busy I just kind of wanted to focus on that. But it was so successful, I hope. I mean, I haven't seen the photos yet, but like Morgan was showing them on her camera um, and so far they look really, really good. So I'm really excited to get those photos back. But this morning, if you guys remember, on Sunday, I told you guys that I was supposed to do this like body spec scan, DEXA scan thing, um, but due to the traffic, like I had to miss it. But I actually just got it done today. I meant to film the whole thing, but you guys would not even imagine. I was almost late once again. Um, I left my house like just before nine and it said it was only gonna take 30 minutes. So I was like, okay, I'll get there a few minutes before my scan. Of course, it's LA, so there's so much traffic, and I was like yelling in my car. I was having a mental breakdown, basically, because what was supposed to be 30 minutes turned into like almost 45, or like 40 plus minutes. Uh, so like I literally, so basically my appointment was at 9.36, and they have like this five minute grace period, and I got there exactly before the five minute grace period ended, which was like 9.41, so. I literally ran in here, like from my car, locked it real quick and just sprinted towards it. And alhamdulillah, I got there like exactly at 9.41. <laughs> I would have been so pissed if I came all the way here and they were like, sorry, you missed it. But anyways, I got it done. I'll show you guys, I'll give you a little video of like what it looks like. There's like this, this bed thing and then this scanner that goes over it. Um, they said originally it was made for like osteoporosis to like diagnose that and then they realized you can like learn about your visceral fat and your body fat percentage and a lot of other things. So that was pretty cool and then I get the results in like 30 minutes so that'll tell me like everything I need to kind of get started on this new health journey for the next year. Obviously this year um, I had intended to lose more weight but I really think my body just like like recomped essentially I didn't really lose that much weight but my body definitely looks very different than what it did at the beginning of this year so I'm thankful for that but next year I really want to just like be in tune with my body that's why like I have the aura ring um, I'm doing this scan I got a personal trainer I really just want to like double down on exactly what's gonna work at like getting me to my goals so um, I'll let you guys know how it works basically I'm gonna get the results um, they mentioned they also like kind of let you guys let you know what the results mean um, but then also my trainer is gonna have a look at that and then create a plan of like my macros and um, everything I need for like you know my daily calories and 
stuff like that. So I'm actually really excited. Um, F45 actually has a very similar skin like within their offices, but this one is a lot more accurate. So yeah, and then you can like do them every month or so and like continually see like your progress. So I think the next time I'm going to do it is in like two months or something and kind of see like what has improved, where I still need to work at, like, you know, if my body fat percentage has improved compared to like my lean muscle mass and all that so i'm really excited to try it out um but yeah i'm gonna make the drive back home <sighs> i feel a little stressed out right now like i was genuinely like screaming in the car because it took me like a different route today and the route that it took me was like it was literally just bumper to bumper traffic at one point like trying to get into the culver city area it was a pain in the butt and like the time just kept going up and up and up and up and up and I was just stressing out. We got it done. Um, tonight actually my manager Kirsten and her fiance Ryan are coming over for dinner. Um, Kirsten usually comes over like every year just to like pick up some like like PR and stuff and whatnot. So I invited her and this I've actually never met her fiance before so I'm excited to meet him. They're coming around like 7 so I'm gonna go home meet risky and then prep for that so i'll see you guys later so it's been a couple hours i'm back home now risky's here as well Hello. <laughs> um i wanted to show you guys i got this thing i kept seeing honestly like ads for it everywhere factor foods and then i saw like people from my actual building getting boxes of this and i was like i kind of just want to try it like i'm just very easily influenced obviously um, but it's kind of like a meal service, like a meal plan service. Little things that you can just pop into the microwave, which is just so convenient. Because I find like sometimes I'm just too lazy to cook during the day. So like this will just make things a lot easier. I don't know if it's supposed to go in the freezer. Oh, fresh, never frozen meals. Okay. So it goes into the fridge. It's pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. They're not halal, obviously. So they don't really have a lot of like options if you only eat halal. So a lot of the stuff I got is all vegetarian, which is fine. But they also had like salmon and shrimp, so I got a few of those. Risky is off to home for now, so <laughs> we'll send her off. I think I'm gonna do a workout, so I'm sending her home a little bit earlier. But it's like dietitian approved and everything, so we'll see how this goes. I feel like it's gonna make my meals definitely a lot easier, which I'm excited for. But Kayali just sent like um, their new perfume to me. It's the sparkling lychee and it smells so freaking good like I'm not like a sweets perfume type of person but I guess maybe now I am I don't know it kind of reminds me of like Prada candy I don't know like a nicer version it smells so good I want to eat it. it smells like candy like my mouth is watering and then they also sent juicy apple which just sounds incredible I really like her new oud scents like I've been really liking the rose oud um, Okay, let's see Juicy Apple. I know this is like one of their older scents. Mmm. Okay, this kind of smells like a grown-up Bath & Body Works scent. Which is like not a bad thing. I don't know if it's something I would necessarily reach for a lot. But considering majority of my fragrances are either like vanilla, jasmine, or like musky bergamot scents. Um, this is very different. I actually don't have anything in my collection that smells this sweet. So, wow. I'm gonna spray Juicy Apple on top of the other one. Just kind of see how they pair together. Maybe a little bit more of the lychee. Oh, I got that on my hand. Oh well. Mmm, okay, together that smells so good. Fragrance type person, these ones will be your best friends. Like, they smell incredible. I feel like these are also like a younger fragrance too, so like for teenagers or just like someone that's very youthful and likes like sweet scents. Anyways, they also sent like a little vanilla one, which I actually just bought during the Sephora sale, so I have another extra one. Maybe I'll gift that. But these are the um, Factor Food scents, <laughs> not scents, the flavors that I got. So I got blackened salmon. I got a few of the blackened salmon just because like I mentioned, like they don't really have a lot of um, pescatarian options, so I got that. Um, I got a Parmesan cream shrimp and zucchini noodle. That sounds incredible. Um, I got 
Some more blackened salmon, vegan mushroom masala. Kind of looks like that on the inside. Oh my god, the vegan mushroom masala looks so good. I love mushrooms. Roasted veggie and pesto tortellini. Also, some of these are like lower calorie. Like this one's only 410 calories, but like it has a lot of food in there. So I feel like just for my health goals, this will be really nice as well. Um, and then Parmesan cream and shrimp zucchini. So I got some of like the same type of ones over and over again, but I'm gonna try and find some space. So I am having Kirsten over. Um, I'm not gonna cook. I'm just ordering from one of my favorite restaurants and then I'm just gonna plate everything. Um, so she's coming in a few hours and like three hours. So I kind of want to go downstairs and get a quick workout in. I was supposed to go to F45 today, but the timing just like didn't work out. Like initially I wanted to, um, oh, you know what, I'm gonna put all of the lower calorie ones. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was supposed to go to F45 today, but the timing just didn't work out because I had my like scan in the morning. And then if I wanted to go to F45, I should have went like right after I got back from the scan. So unfortunately I wasn't able to, but I am doing a workout with my trainer tomorrow morning. And I think that will set me off right. So. Okay. I also got this cranberry fizz, which is so freaking good. It's the new poppy flavor. Um, I think it's limited edition just for like the holidays. But first of all, the packaging is so cute. But this tastes so good. It literally just tastes like sparkling cranberry juice. And I love cranberry juice. Um, I bought this first. I only got four because I think that was all they had at Target at the time. And I was like, okay, that's perfect. There's four of us for dinner. Tell me why I come into the apartment and my husband's having his lunch and he's literally drinking one of these. And I was like, damn. So Risky went on out and got some more um, and then a couple of their errands that needed to be done. And now I have some extras. So I was going to make like a mocktail recipe. I don't know if I'm going to do that anymore. I might do it tomorrow, but I am happy to have more. I like them because they're only 25 calories and they actually taste delicious. I mean, you know, if I was really worried about the calorie thing, I could just get Coke Zero or like something with zero calories, but it just tastes yummy. It really does. I love how organized my fridge is now. Ever since getting it cleaned, it's just like a lot easier to keep organized. I don't know where the logic is in that, but it just is and I love it so so much like look how organized we have our coconut waters here I put like a little cardboard thing here which is I guess a little hack to be able to um, layer some more drinks have all my poppy and then just all of my meal prep stuff some um, leftovers and then you know the drill. A bunch of sauces because we love our dips and sauces. Although I'm not cooking dinner, I do want to make something that's like fresh. Nothing homemade, but definitely fresh out the oven. Um, so I'm going to make these like s'mores almond flour brownies because I have all the ingredients for it. The only thing I didn't have, um, we just got earlier today, this is like the Jet Puff. Fun fact, actually, these don't have any gelatin in them. So if you want to get like the marshmallow flavor or just feel um just from the grocery store without having to like track down halal um marshmallows marshmallow fluff can do that for you so literally tastes exactly like marshmallows if you don't believe me google it but yeah i just want to make something a little bit sweet so i have a, like a bunch of graham crackers that i just had over the summer and then this is like my favorite almond flour brownie recipe or, or box to buy it's by the brand simple mills and i just love this brand in general they make really really good like healthier alternative desserts so this is an almond flour chocolate chip brownie mix and i've made this like a bunch of times it tastes so good just need two eggs i usually only like cooking with avocado oil but i ran out so i'm gonna have to use like regular schmegular oil Okay, batter is done. I'm just kind of like breaking up some of the pieces and trying to make them fit in here. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna pour the rest all over top. Graham crackers are kind of shifting around, so. <laughs> ah, 
So I'm just gonna do the best that I can to try to like keep them under there. And this is totally optional, but I'm gonna sprinkle this with some sea salt. Just cause, I don't know, I, I've made this in the past and I feel like sometimes the chocolate flavor isn't as pronounced as I'd like it to be and I feel like the salt is gonna help with that. And then I'm gonna pop this into the oven. It smells insanely good in here. Oh my god. I just took the almond brownies out of the oven. I'm gonna wait for them to cool. I'm actually gonna go to the gym real quick downstairs um, and just do like a quick 45 minute workout, 30 to 45 minutes, and then I'm gonna come back up, shower, and then prep for my manager and our guests. So I also, um, I just got this new like body butter from Fenty Beauty in and then I saw like Jaclyn Hill talk about like how this plus another perfume together is like the best scent ever and I actually have both for perfumes. This is like one of my all-time favorites. It's what I first started wearing when I met my husband and anytime I spray this it's just like nostalgic for both of us but anyways she said to like mix both of these together so I'm gonna do that after I get out of the shower. This straight up smells like like cinnamon bun topping i have to be careful because i might want to eat this like that's how good it smells i'm gonna put these in my bathroom and i gotta run downstairs to the gym and then hopefully by then my order of food will be in so that i can like just prep everything before everyone comes i think they're gonna be coming here around like seven so i have a little bit of time to kill like two hours so i still gotta hurry up you scared me <laughs> I was just about to leave for the gym. And look like what he does. Oh, these are so beautiful. Wow, thank you, baby. I was literally just thinking. I was like, we need some flowers. I even asked I asked Risky to go get some today and she forgot. Oh wow. Yeah. I know. Oh, thank you, baby. He's so sweet. Just finished my workout. I did um 12, 3.30. But not actually 12. <laughs> I usually do somewhere around like 10. I usually start with like 9 incline. Um, 12 is just, I did start with 12 for like the first, I don't know, 5 minutes today. But it was just like way too hard. Like I just could not do that. I feel like my legs are too small for that. Or I don't know, it's just hard. So I took it down to like 9 for a little bit and then finished off at like 10 and then worked my way up to 11 so got a nice sweat in and i'm gonna shower and rinse up and then get ready for dinner it's like 6 p.m right now so it should be coming in an hour everything's pretty much done i just have to add like the marshmallow fluff onto the brownies um, and then broil it and then we'll be pretty much good to go Got it all nice and even, so I'm gonna put it in the oven on broil and just wait for it to get nice and toasty. Pretty much used the entire marshmallow fluff container. Just took it out the oven. That's what it looks like. It looks so yummy and toasty. So I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit once it's like fully cooled down. But right now, Gotta like run and shower as fast as I can so I can prep everything. Got the goods. Ordered from Open Sesame. It's like a Lebanese restaurant um, in the Beverly Hills area. And I always order this platter because like when you honestly calculate it, sometimes it's cheaper to just buy this platter instead of actually like making stuff. Here is the meat dish. It looks so good. And I'm just gonna cover this up and put it in the oven so that it stays warm until they get here.
so good. Oh my God. My camera has been like not wanting to focus lately and it's so annoying. It's perfect. Look how delicious these look. They're like ooey gooey. So yummy. And so easy to make too. Good morning. I am at my trainer's place. We're about to work out. <clears throat> it's Wednesday morning. I didn't really film a lot last night um, during dinner. I just, I don't know, I kind of just wanted to enjoy my time, but the dinner turned out great. Those little brownie things were so freaking good. Like, so good. You guys need to try them. Um, but I'm just waiting for Lindsay to come down. We're gonna get a nice workout in for the Wednesday morning. It's like just about to be 9 a.m. right now. Oh, it's exactly 9 a.m. Workout is complete. I didn't really feel like filming it today, so I didn't. But we did like biceps and arms, and my arms are literally dead right now. But I'm walking home, I'm gonna shower. Risky should be there waiting for me as well, and we have some work to do today. So we'll see you guys when I get home. I kinda want coffee though. <laughs> no, it looks cute. I love it. Got a nice hot matcha. Mm. Heading out for the night and I want to show you guys my outfit because I just got in this new sweater from Jenny Kane. I bought the cream version while I was back in New York and I was so obsessed with it. I saw that the black came back in stock, so I picked this up as well. It definitely is pricey, um, but it's just like the perfect sweater. I know I'm just gonna, it's gonna be like a staple in my wardrobe for like years to come. It's just so beautiful. This one's in a size XL. The beige one that I got, the cream one that I got is in a size large, and I kind of like how the XL fits a little bit better. It's a little, I kind of wish I got a large in the other size, but that's okay. I'm wearing this necklace that I literally always wear. I um, linked a similar one on my LTK if you guys are interested. This one I found at like a flea market in um, Paris, but I found like almost an exact dupe online. And that is the fit. I'm just going out to dinner, one of my favorite spots um, called Lentica. I'm going to meet my lawyer. Um, so yeah, it'll be a nice little dinner. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Uh, I might not vlog. I don't know. Hello everyone, it is Thursday and I'm about to start doing my makeup. I was going to film it for TikTok, but then I was kind of like, you know what, I haven't done like any sort of like makeup get ready with me content on my vlog in a while. So why not just kind of like show you guys, plus I wanted to try the stuff that I got from Sephora the other day. Um, like the Huda Beauty stuff, so I'm not really getting ready for anything in particular, but I want to try out this new product. I'm gonna just put on a quick beat right now. Okay, I think I'm at a good angle. Um, Risky was just here. She actually just went out to run a few errands um, for me so that we can like finish up some content for the week. She reminded me of something that like was due Monday and I completely forgot about it, so. She's getting some last minute items for that and then we're gonna have to film like two mocktail recipes later for working with like liquid IV but not for like content to be posted on my page, it's just for them. So I just quickly like thought of a few mocktail ideas and need to get some of the ingredients for it. So she ran out to get those. I don't really have any particular look in mind. But I feel like the stick foundation, I've been really liking the Fenty stick foundation, so I want to see like how the Huda Beauty one compares. I also, if you guys noticed, um, well it would have been in my last vlog I think, but I finally got a new intro and outro and I just finally approved them and sent them to my editor, so I think, I think you would have already seen it 
obviously the beginning of this video, but also last week's video. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I just feel like it was finally time. I was looking at my <laughs> intro and outro and I was like, it's cute, but we definitely need a little bit of a refresher. So I think it was a necessary move. This morning I had a call with um, a friend of mine who, well, her name's Marwa. She owns uh, Vol Chic. You guys know that we had a collaboration together um, a few years ago. And what's so funny is while I was in Toronto last, I like randomly bumped into her um, in, where was it? In Paramount Foods. It's like a Lebanese restaurant, I think. Um, and yeah, so she like reached out because she's launching this new like entrepreneurship masterclass for women. Um, to, and she'll basically be giving like the tools on like how to launch your own business and like make, I think her goal was like work up to 25K in sales a month or something. And I just think it's so cool. So I'm kind of like helping her with um, promotions for that just because I feel like it would be an amazing opportunity. I get comments from people all the time asking for tips on like how to start a business, whether they want to be a content creator or you know, just in general, and I feel like this is like such an amazing like opportunity. Plus Marwa like really did it by herself from the ground up. I don't think a lot of people know the owner of Wall Chic. She's not like forward facing. She's very private, but um, she's a wife and a mother and has just built this like empire for her and her family. And it's just so inspiring. So she's kind of helping me get started on, you know, my future endeavors and stuff. So you know, all G-O-D willing. Um, yeah, I think honestly, just like, and I mentioned this in um, last Get Ready With Me, but I kind of just want to like think about more stuff outside of just content because especially with everything going on in the world right now, it's just made me realize that like not every single brand, you know, has great morals <laughs> and moral values. And like, if I could just create something for myself, that will allow me to live a life that I want to live and have financial freedom and all of that kind of stuff without having to worry about like working with brands and whatnot. That's my ultimate goal. Like in five years, I want to look back and be like, wow, like I really did that. I created this like really successful business that, you know, I'm super inspired by and all that. And content will obviously always be there for me, but I'm just looking at like bigger picture things, you know? So, um, but if any of you guys are interested on or in like learning more about what Marwa was doing with the whole like entrepreneurship thing. It's like a women only program. Um, I will link it down below so you guys can check it out. I think she's offering like free sessions first and then I think she's gonna be like maybe launching something in the future as well. So. Okay, time to try this out. So this is the Faux Filter Skin Finish. Looks like that. Um, and I got the shade Chocolate Mousse. Okay, that is actually like a really, really, really good match. I'm happy. I don't know how like full coverage this is, so I feel like it's not too cool. It's not too warm. Okay, that's it on half of my face. I really like it. Like it kind of doesn't even look like I'm really wearing anything. It just like evened out my skin tone. But yeah, it does cover up the scratch pretty well. I like it a lot. Okay. Yes to that, very happy about it. But I kind of want to try this one, which is like super bright pink, just cause it's gonna kind of like match the lip color that I want to try. It's like a Barbie pink, but on deeper skin, it just looks like so beautiful. Like literally so beautiful. I love these blushes by Patrick Ta. I will say, I feel like I normally just reach for the cream shade more than the powder, but I like that it gives me an option to have both. It's the HD Skin Concealer. It's really, really good. I use this darker shade first, just to kind of like cover darkness anywhere I need it. And then I go in with the lighter shade. I really like the Huda Beauty Concealer, by the way, if you guys are curious about my thoughts. That's like literally one of my go-tos, especially when I'm doing like a more full face glam. Um, I usually always go in with the Huda Beauty one. It's so incredible, literally looks like a filter under the eyes. So if you're looking to support more Huda Beauty because she is a queen 
and is like literally so outspoken about Palestine right now. It's just so nice to see. For bronzer, I've been liking the little milk makeup one. Like this is such a tiny bronzer, but it's so good. I really like the Freck one still, but I have been trying to just like use some other ones because I've been using the Freck one for like months on end. And I've heard really good things about this milk one and I see why. It is very good. You don't need a lot to like really get a good bronze or contour and the shade is like incredible like the shades that they have they have like super super dark damn near like black shade for deeper deeper skin tones so i feel like it's a little bit more inclusive okay now i'm gonna go in with the easy bacon snatch okay this is a yes as well i really 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 like that okay last but not least i have the huda beauty mascara um this is my personal favorite. They have like a double-ended one too, which is pretty good, but I don't know. This one just gives me like crazy long lashes, so I just picked up another one because mine finished. Okay, that is the finished look. Um, looks really pretty. The cheeks are definitely very pink. On camera at least, I don't know, in person? I don't know if it's just this lighting doesn't make it look like it is, but I am very happy with this makeup look and oof, I gotta get to work now, so Oh my god, I'm like stuck <laughs> Let's get to work So basically I'm making two mocktail recipes for liquid IV um, using their like little packets I personally actually use them and love them so this is gonna be really fun the first one we're doing is like a yuzu pineapple matcha lemonade for like a pre-workout or just like a morning burst of energy and then we're doing like a peaches and cream smoothie which is gonna be so yummy I kind of like just tasted the recipe and it tasted really good so Risky's just making our little background look all pretty and beautiful and it's gonna be really, really cute. Recipe one is complete. Looks like it's kind of a similar recipe to the matcha lemonade we made earlier this year on my page, but this time it's um, with the liquid IV, so it's the pineapple flavor. Um, it's a yuzu pineapple, so we're just getting some like last minute detail shots and stuff. Looks so, so good. And actually tastes really good too. So the next one we're going to make is a peaches and cream. And then we'll be done for the content. This is really fun, like food styling and like making and stuff. Yeah, I want to like amp it up for next year. Okay, off to the next one. So now we set up shop on this side to do the peaches and cream re recipe. This is with the sugar-free. And I actually prefer their sugar-free ones. So if you guys were considering them, then definitely get that one. But we have um, this like portable, what's it called? Blender. So hopefully this ends up working out for us. I just hope it's enough like juice in there, you know, like to like make it thick. And it's on 4K, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's been staring at your butt the whole time. <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, they got oh my god, you guys got a show. Not the show, but a show. <laughs> This is the finished. It actually looks so pretty. It looks so good. Yeah, it looks really good. Wow. I kind of spilled it while um, pouring, but you know, we made it work. Not everything can be perfect. <laughs> Little update on the Huda Beauty Foundation. I feel like I did really like it when I first applied it, but I have to say like, it's not my favorite. I feel like it's kind of like sitting on my skin 
instead of like melting on it. I have, granted I have been like sweating, um, just trying to get these mocktail videos filmed. And then I just like put everything away and cleaned up a little bit. So that could be it, but I don't know. I just wanted to give you guys like kind of an honest review of it. I feel like it's just a little, a little bit too cakey for me, which like, I don't know. Maybe I'll try like putting it on with a beauty blender or something. Anyway, I'm literally sweating. <sighs> anytime, like I love this view, but anytime the sun comes in, oh my God, it is so hot. Finally getting around to eating some lunch. I'm so hungry. I warmed up one of the factor foods that I got the other day. This is the chicken marsala like risotto thing. Or not chicken, sorry, mushroom. Um, whatever I just said. <laughs> And it smells so good. This is like mouth-watering. Like it smells delicious. I kind of want to add some like truffle oil to it. I feel like that'll just like send it over the top. I'm just gonna add a little bit because I don't want like crazy calories or anything. Mm, it smells so good. I also added some beef to it just from the other day when we had dinner. And I'm gonna have my little energy drink that I made earlier <laughs> with the um mm, that tastes so good. With the liquid IV, I didn't finish my sentence, but I ended up just um using a beauty blender on my makeup and it ended up looking a little bit better. So maybe I just need to use a beauty blender with that foundation. Surprisingly, like this tastes very decadent. This is one of the um, like lower calorie ones. It's like only 400 calories, 410. But I did add some meat to it, so it's probably gonna bring it up a couple more. Delicious. 10 out of 10, I would just keep ordering that specific meal, to be honest. In an extremely random turn of events, we are going to a basketball game tonight. <laughs> My financial advisor, he texted me today and he was like, hey, I have two extra tickets to, or he has two tickets to the Clippers versus Warriors game tonight and he can't make it. He's like, do you want to go? So I was like, uh, yeah. So he transferred them over um, and it's his little gift, end of year gift to us. So we're about to head out. Thankfully, it's just like a 30 minute walk. So we're going to get some exercise in and enjoy a nice little basketball game. Everybody, I think, is this the first time that I'm talking to the camera this morning? I think it is. Um, so basically, we've had a very, very busy morning. Um, I had my workout this morning. I feel like you guys are like shaking more than usual, but I don't know how to fix that, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I had my workout with Lindsay this morning. Oh my God. That house has like a mix of like a Halloween and Christmas decorations and it's very strange. Um, and then I like sped walk home because I had a doctor's appointment this morning. Um, so it was a few minutes late to that, but thankfully they were still able to take me. But anyways, I'm going back to Olive Atelier because tonight I'm going to my friend Zahra's house. Um, the owner of Zahra the label in case you guys follow her as well um, But yeah, we're going to her house She invited me over to her and her husband's house and I'm so excited to see her. I haven't seen her since Ramadan 
which is so wild. So much has clearly changed in her life since then. <laughs> and um, I'm just excited to like catch up and meet her husband. And I don't know if her kids are gonna be there, but like hopefully meet her kids as well. But I wanna just get her a little something. I'm like, what do you get someone for like a wedding gift, a housewarming, and also pregnancy? <laughs> like that's just, that's just like so much in one. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful Friday. I have a little bit of work before we head to Zahra's house. Um, she lives pretty far though, and traffic is gonna be a B-I-T-C-H. So we're gonna have to leave like an hour and a half to two hours before we actually wanna get there, which is kind of annoying, because I, like I said, have a bunch of stuff to do, but yeah, I guess we, we shall see what ends up happening um but yeah i hope everyone is having a lovely week uh, this isn't even a story so obviously you're seeing this within one vlog but i've been really enjoying vlogging i'm not gonna lie like i miss this i miss just like updating you guys on my life and like talking to the camera and stuff i feel like it's a little bit therapeutic for me sometimes so hopefully you guys are enjoying it because i definitely am Got the worst. I texted. Kate. So I'm back at Olive Atelier. And oh my god, they have really cute spots out right now. I didn't necessarily come here for myself, but <laughs> these pots look really, really good. They kind of look similar to. The ones that I saw last time, but I don't know like I think the fact that they have the plant in there just makes it look more like Legit, I don't know. I really like it. I really like this one right here It's so pretty and it's a wide pot too Which is exactly the type of pot that I need I Might have to get myself something <laughs> these are like little lavender wreaths and I just feel like Zahra is gonna just love these so much. So I'm thinking, I feel like something like this would be really cute so that she could put on her coffee table or something. Or I like this color too, it's a little bit lighter. But I kind of like the fact that this has two sides to it. So much good stuff. These ones are like soap with a little stool, but I really, really like these ones. They're so cute. <laughs> you, YouTube's got it you first today. <laughs> Guys, we're at Zahra's house and she is the hostess with the mostest. Like, look I'm at so this. I'm so happy to have you here, seriously. Finally. Finally. We both, both our schedules have been yes. all over the place. Food looks so good. We, we're mm. eating Malaysian tonight. Mm. And then I'm, I'm so excited to get into the charcuterie and all the desserts. Oh my God. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everyone. Um, I don't think I really updated you guys in a couple days. Um, the night before we went to Zahra's house, we literally had like the best time. Her husband, Navid, is just, he is such an amazing person and just both of them together are just incredible people and i took like a very short clip but they ordered like malaysian food and zahra made this gorgeous charcuterie board that just tasted incredible and we just literally talked for hours and hours and hours um until finally my husband was like okay we gotta go <laughs> um but we definitely have to do that again like oh it's just it's so nice and we don't get to do it often but like hanging out with other married couples um is just it's fun sometimes because you guys can obviously relate to a lot of things and um them specifically they're just they're incredible people so yeah and then the next day which was yesterday i did like an extremely hard workout i don't know why um i just kind of like i think like this week was pretty busy for me in terms of work so i didn't get to go to like my tuesday and thursday f45 class which are personally my favorites because they're uh, resistance days um or sorry strength training days so i don't know i kind of just felt like i didn't do enough so i just kind of like looked on pinterest and put together this workout i'll actually put it up on the screen for you guys okay, so i'll just hold it up for you guys and you can screenshot 
if you want to do this workout. Um, but whoop, there we go. But yeah, it was really nice. The only thing I changed was I ended up only doing like five minutes of abs because I was just so in pain already. I find like anytime I do legs and back, like because you're engaging your core so much, like I feel like my abs tend to get really sore. So then when I follow up with abs, it's just like, just not okay. Um, but then I, I was trying to do like the Stairmaster for like 10 to 20 minutes. I did a good five minutes and then I was like, I am literally gonna die or I'm just not enjoying myself right now. So I just cooled down for another five minutes on the treadmill. So that was the only change, but yeah, I did that workout, I feel really good. I just felt like I wasn't like sore this week, like super, super sore. And not that you have to be to like work out, but I don't know, I just kind of missed that feeling. So yeah, I kind of went in, but. It was really good and then in the evening um, I was supposed to go to a birthday party but I just didn't really feel like that so I ended up just going to my friend Zainab's house um, up in Orange County and we just had like a girls night she ordered pizza and we played cards against humanity and that was my night I got home pretty late um, and then this morning I actually ended up increasing my personal training sessions to three times a week. So I had a session this morning at 10 a.m. with Lindsay. And then I treated myself to a little breakfast, like an avocado toast and this like matcha at that same cafe that I tried earlier this week. And honestly, it was a great day. I went to the farmer's market, I came back. I didn't really get a, a bunch of things from the farmer's market. I'm probably gonna end up going grocery shopping today a little bit later. Um, but we do have a date night tonight. So I think I'm actually gonna end the vlog here though and, and uh, continue in the next vlog, but I'm really enjoying these little weekly vlogs. I hope you guys are enjoying them as well. I say little as if they're not like over 30 minutes long, but I'm sure that's how you guys appreciate them anyways. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, seriously, like just feeling inspired again. I think I'm gonna film like um, an end of year recap video and just like advice for the coming new year because this year I obviously went through a lot of change, both mentally, physically, emotionally, um, and all good things, but I feel like I didn't really get to share a lot of that with you. So yeah, I kind of, I'm gonna be planning for a video like that, just kind of like a sit down girl chat video for that. So yeah, inshallah I can do that before the year end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new. I would love for you guys to join the family. I'm really gonna be ramping up my YouTube content over the next year. Um, because I genuinely just miss it. Like I genuinely just miss this community and I hope we can get back to where we once were in the past. But thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the weekly vlogs and I will see you in the next one, which I will be starting pretty much immediately after this. <laughs> Bye guys. Mm -hmm.